Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to what's for dinner. This week we have a lot of new foods. There are things that I'm trying that I've never tried before. But before we get started, I wanted to show you my new can opener. This is a can opener. I absolutely love it. It is from Kitchen Mama. Thank you for sending this to me. This is not sponsored. They did send it to me though to give it a try and I love it. You guys don't understand how many can openers I have gone through and and this one is so easy. It has a magnet right here and you just stick this onto the can, the top of the can, of course, and then it has a button on the back. There's where your batteries go. It takes four AA batteries. You just press this button and that is it. It does all the work for you. You don't have to twist your hand. You don't have to hurt your hand. If you have arthritis, you don't have to worry about anything. The can opens quickly and easily with this can opener. I will leave it linked down below if you guys would like to get your very own. Again, you can go to shopkitchenmama.com and get your very own can opener. Okay, so before I show you what's for dinner tonight, here is dinner. I wanted to show it to you before. We get these at Publix. This is the first time I've ever gotten them. It's called Aprons, ready to cook. So it is stuffed flank with mozzarella and I believe spinach. Yeah, and it was $14.73, and you just stick it in the oven and cook it up. So it looks delicious. So we're going to give this a try and add some sides to it. So let me show you what we ate. Okay, guys, here is dinner for tonight. We have that steak with the mozzarella and the, the um, spinach in the middle. I also have the potatoes. I made potatoes with salt, pepper, garlic salt, onion salt, or onion powder, garlic powder, and some parsley and then we have two pieces of bread on the side so that's for dinner okay guys here is dinner for tonight we are having some parmesan chicken with spinach this is from Publix where they had the um, package where you just throw it in the oven and it's good to go just like last night's dinner and then I decided to make some asparagus not asparagus what is this Brussels sprouts, Brussels sprouts. Jason's favorite uh, Brussels sprouts. I just put salt, pepper, butter, and garlic uh, seasoning on top of that. And then this is just all grot potatoes from the box. Um, nobody, actually Sophia is going to try this with me, but everybody else doesn't want to try it, so they are getting some peas. So that's what's for dinner tonight. Tonight for dinner, we are having some potato soup. I will have a recipe on my new channel called Easy Fun Food, so make sure you guys go check that out. Okay guys, here is dinner for tonight. I am showing you both plates because we do have a little bit um, of different stuff. We both have the ham and the pineapple. I just heated that up in a pan. I have macaroni and cheese and some corn. This is going to be Jason's plate. My plate has the ham and pineapple, corn. I have asparagus here because we had this the other night and I wanted to go ahead and eat it up for leftovers. And then I also have some of this. It is all grot potatoes. This was left over as well, so I just heated that up. Instead of eating mac and cheese, I'm gonna eat this. So that's what's for dinner tonight. <laughs> okay guys, here is dinner for tonight. The girls, which is Sophia and her friend that are over, are getting baked potatoes and hot dog. And then, guess what I have? Yeah. Come here. Yay. I got Variety Fun Box. Variety Fun Box is a subscription box that you can get monthly or bi-monthly, and it has a ton of snacks. This is something new. I can't wait. And then it has, you have to find all the snacks on this. Isn't that cute? Okay, then we'll do that. We're so it's a little crossword puzzle. Yeah. Anyways, they have tons of snacks here. You guys can pick a healthy snack and a junk food snack, but you have to eat junk food after you eat all your food. So the healthy snacks are like pretzels, these little pop corners um you can't have that because that's mine <laughs> uh they also have these pop chips things like that so you guys can grab a chip if you want and then you can have cookies they have um here's some crackers if you want crackers what else do they have in here let's see they have some more toasted crackers if you guys want those they have granola bars, fruit and nut bars. They also have, ooh, they have a lot of healthy stuff. Ooh, there's a Chef Max Alley. And they have some cookies. 
some fruit snacks if you guys want fruit snacks or these cookies with M&Ms in them. So if you guys want to check out this box, you I have a link down below. You guys can go and get your box for 30% off if you use my code for the first time. And then like I said, you can get it monthly or bi-monthly. And they also have set up a gift shop. So when you go onto their website, you can order a box for a friend, a loved one. If you know somebody that is dealing with coronavirus or anything like that, send them a box of happiness. I would love one. I know your mom, your dad, Father's Day, any holiday, someone would absolutely love this at their front door. So make sure you guys go check out that link below. Okay, now for my dinner, I am having some fish tacos, my weekly fish tacos with lettuce and cheese and this sauce, yummy, yummy. Jason is having a steak with a baked potato. Ooh, it's all done. Steak and baked potato with what? Butter, cheese, sour cream. sour cream, salt, and pepper. So that's what's for dinner tonight. Okay, so for tonight's dinner, we are making some nachos and cheese. This is kind of like a nacho al grande from Taco Bell, but it's even better because we're making it ourselves with fresh, amazing ingredients. So I have some hamburger meat in there. I'm going to go ahead and cook that up. I'm going to line a cookie sheet and add some spray and of course some nachos. Now once that is done, I'm gonna go ahead and use my handy dandy can opener. I love this thing, it's so amazing. I had to show Jason this on this day. I'm gonna open up some black beans and I'm going to go ahead and drain them and just rinse them a tiny bit so that way you get some of that mucky stuff off of it and go ahead and place them on top of your nachos. Once I am done with that, I'm going to go ahead and add the taco seasoning to the meat, stir that in and all together, cook that for around 10 minutes and then top your nachos with the hamburger meat. And then I have some Fritos cheese mix and I'm going to go ahead and top it all off with that. And then I'm going to stick it in a 350 degree oven for around five to 10 minutes just to get everything nice and warm. And this is what it looks like. These are so delicious. They remind me of going to a pool and ordering nachos off of their menu. Okay, guys, here is dinner for tonight. We are having a very light dinner because we had a huge lunch. So this is what we are having. We are having some crab legs. The girls have their own. It's kind of Fend for themselves tonight. We have some garlic butter here, and Jason and I are just going to eat some yummy crab legs. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.